What's going on everybody? I know it's been a while, um, but I'm bringing you guys a new video today and we are going to be looking at the Corey Taylor Subliminal Versus Volume 3 mask replica that I make. Um, this one was a custom paint job requested by a customer and I actually really like this. This is probably going to be my top paint job for this because depending on how you turn it, there's about 19 different colors in there. Um, I got green, yellow, blue, orange, purple, gray, black, brown, uh, a little bit of everything. So depending on how you turn it, how you look at it, and what light is hitting it, it changes. Oh gosh, excuse me, it changes colors. So with that being said, let's get right down into all the cool little details. Um, we've got the tooth, which of course um, most of the masks, if not all of the masks that Corey wore for this album cycle, had the tooth sculpted. Um, there's only one drawback to that. I don't like that. So, with that being said, I add teeth to all the ones that I make just because why not. Um, we've got the 2mm elastic cording along the outside of the mouth. Uh, along the inside of the mouth is the elastic band that attaches here. These two points. And these two points here. Um, got staples uh, going along the forehead. Of course, we've got the wax thread. Staples there. Staples there. Staples here. Down the chin. Short little part on the cheek. I've got plaster dust all over this thing because I wasn't thinking before I put it on the armature that I just got done putting or making a mold of. So yeah. Um, but yeah, with all that being said, uh, or well, you know. That being said, uh, I don't know. I just I really like I really like the way the paint turned out. Um, I've made I couldn't tell you how many of these. Probably at least in the 90s, double digit wise, maybe even triple digit digit. Um, I am on. I have made a new mold. Um, added a lot more, or not really a lot more detail, but just made the details more pronounced. Um, kind of added some stuff here. Uh, the, the mold I was using just it was losing detail um, but I'd also used that mold for a couple years now so uh, yeah just kinda went back kinda touched everything up uh, made the you know made the details a little bit more pronounced nothing too major because I really like the way that the sculpt was to begin with um, but yeah just sorta kinda to bring bring life back to this mask and uh, I've also bumped foam up, so instead of using a very fleshy foam, I'm now using a more rigid foam, which still, of course, has foam properties. It's still squishy, um, as I add more plaster dust to the mask. I have to wash this thing off. Um, but yeah, it just it it's a lot sturdier. Um, it's a lot. There's the give is now in the elastic instead of the foam, which is really nice. And of course, the straps are more secured. Um, with the rivets that I use, um, I actually don't use rivets because they're, they cut into the foam, um, which and then can lead to tears and places that are thinner than others. So, yeah. These masks are much more sturdy than what they used to be. Um, I've put a lot of time and research into finding better foams. Um, I started with Monster Makers and then eventually worked my way over to Smooth On. And I went from Smooth On Flex Foam at 5 and I'm now using Smooth On Flex Foam at 10. And eventually I'm probably going to go ahead and bump it up to 17 just because I want this thing to be even less fleshy. Um, there's still points and parts that are still which of course this isn't there's a lot of gap in here as you can tell that right there is not sponge it's it's air <laughs> and room because I can literally put my finger up through there so yeah um but yeah I just kind of wanted to bring you guys a new video I do apologize for such a delay in videos um time has just been kind of weird um switching rooms switching my office around um so yeah it's just not really been too ideal um, for videos and things like that uh, links to my Instagram and Facebook will be down below um, If you guys do want to keep up with me that is the best place to do it 
because uh, I am on there pretty regularly. So, with that being said, um, if you do want to purchase one of these masks, uh, they are the link to my Etsy store is in the description below. Um, prices range anywhere from ninety to a hundred dollars, uh, and that is shipped in the states, the U.S. Uh, and of course just add additional fifteen dollars for international shipping and international goes anywhere that you can receive packages um, I've not seen too many countries yet that haven't accepted um, postal service but I have run into a couple um, that don't I didn't know that, that was a thing but it is so yeah I think that's gonna cover it. I uh, didn't really didn't really have a real long video, uh, just more or less just kind of updating you guys on where I am, where I'm at, where I've been, as my stool locks itself in place. Um, but yeah, just sort of kind of getting. I'll give a big update video. I'm not gonna go into it right now because this this is supposed to be just solely based on this mask. But yeah, if you like it, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to like us or uh, subscribe. That would be great. We're almost up to 100 subscribers which is pretty cool considering I'm not on YouTube that often so that's pretty cool got a couple of videos over a thousand views which is even better considering that I'm not on YouTube that often so you guys have been great um, yeah and this is Matt from Innovative Autopsy and we will see you guys in the next one